fiction writing combined with yoga. Come along with us as we interview Professor Michael McCauley and several students. We'll find out how they are relating writing bodies to their everyday lives. What this is, and it's pretty experimental, I don't think there's very many universities in the country where it is a real blend of doing yoga, I mean an hour and a half of yoga poses with meditation, and then in between, like at the beginning of the class, uh, we do some uh, journaling, writing, and then at the end of the yoga practice of an hour and a half, we also do some journaling. We're also looking at uh, various writers who are really good at using sensuality, using the senses, and using physicality in their writing. And so we're trying to kind of make the co connection between uh, that the voice of the writer comes out of the body. It just doesn't come out of the, the mind. I've been taking yoga the past two semesters and taking it again this semester. And uh, I've been trying to find a way to incorporate my yoga with my writing because I'm a fiction major. Seen my, well, I heard Michael McCauley uh, read at one of the um, creative nonfiction week events and thought it'd be a really neat class to kind of help me tie both my writing and my yoga together. I've, I've gotten so many story ideas just from like listening to different regions of my body and like um, remembering like what feelings evoke a story or um, tension evokes a story. Well, what we're doing um, is um, letting students work on various subjects that relate to their own body and their own body history. And so it can be fiction or non-fiction. So some students are writing poetic type pieces, some are writing sort of personal essays, and some are donating various experiences they're having uh, with what's coming up out of their body to maybe characters in, in fiction. So I know that I have a lot more physical action in my writing now. Just thinking about the way body moves, I find that my characters do a lot more moving. And you're you're given prompts and assignments that encourage you outside of class to start like listening to your body. Um, and also all the things that we read you start to notice how body is present in story and how much of a stronger story, uh, how, how much stronger a story comes across when it involves like sensory things and body. Uh, the writer, like all artists, uh, m must really uh, be able to develop um, v various parts of their body. And, and in yoga, there is the study of the physical body there's the study of the emotional body. There's the study of the mental body. Uh, there's the study of the intuitive and creative body. And then there's the study of the spiritual body. And I think all great pieces of art uh, are come out of an artist's understanding of all five of those areas. And I feel this has just kind of helped me make stronger pieces because I'm getting more of just a total view of myself in my writing, not just like a voice or this or that, but voice and body. It, it stirs up a lot of stuff that I couldn't access otherwise, and definitely journaling daily about that and just journaling normally, a lot of that stuff is already on the surface, so again, I can access it and it just comes through. Uh, Ray, I've invited uh, several yoga teachers to come and uh, participate in the class. I've also brought in a, a hospice nurse uh, and other writers who have been using their body uh, as a form of uh, meditation. There's also a Tai Chi uh, practitioner and a dancer. Because I'm interested in all those areas in, in order to, to get students to think about how people who work with their body, they have a special language, they have an awareness of their body that's very heightened. And so I want them to sort of listen to the way in which these people talk about their body. To, to future students of this class, I would say that um, any expectations they have will be exceeded and um, you really can't expect how uh, it will change your body and the way that you think about your body and the way that you write from your body. It changes just the way you look at your, yourself and your body and, and other people. You realize how connected everyone is. Um, yeah, it, it'll, change, it'll change your life. Take the class. <laughs>